All right, guys, we are still at Mars Wrigley, and we found what was doomed and going to a scrapyard. The story behind this car is amazing, y'all. Um, I was drawn to it the minute we pulled in. Didn't even clean my car. Came straight over to this. Right, Andy? <laughs> He's shaking his head, not the camera. Um, I had a car very similar to this. It was my first Camaro. And this nice gentleman, tell us your name. I'm Chris. From? Great Meadows, New Jersey. Great Meadows, New Jersey. So, saved this car. We'll let him tell you the story of how he came across this beauty. Go ahead and tell our viewers. So, I own a business in Hackettstown, New Jersey. And we do tires. And uh, Plug your business. We are all for it. <laughs> Hackettstown Discount Tires. And my wife was dropping a car off at an apartment complex. And she happened to notice that this was under a tarp. She saw it, you know, partially uncovered. And she knew I wanted... Uh, That's a keeper wife right yeah, there. Yeah, she knew she, I wanted this car. She was hunting cars. So she asked the customer that dropped it off, that she was dropping off, um, about the car. She goes, oh, I know the person that owns it. So we got in contact with the person that owns it. And he said, um, it's actually going to the scrapyard tomorrow. Because the... Uh, apartment complex association didn't want it stuck there anymore. So we, we know all about that. I said, I'm coming to get it. And um, I gave him four tires. He gave me his car, drove it back to the shop. It was originally a five speed and I blew out second gear, blew out third gear, <laughs> crawled it into the uh, parking lot. And then um, we started working on it. Me and uh, my buddy George who owns Precise Collision next door. Um, we got a donor car. Um, we started working at it. It was a rent. Originally, we were just going to put a motor in it and paint it. But then we got a, a donor car, which we cut the roof off of, turned it into a T-top car. Got a 383-stroker crate motor, 700R4 trans, 9-bolt Borg Warner rear, and just went ham on it and um, completely resto modded it, nut and bolt. He can still hear you even though he's not. Yep. Took about six years for us to do it. Six years later, this is gorgeous, y'all. <laughs> and I know I'm a little biased, kind of a third gen girl. She is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you wouldn't know, but my buddy George over here, he welded in halfway down the pillar here and across right here. Can't even tell. Yep. George, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this car is flawless. They did such a good job. We got some uh, black chrome, black chrome Corvette replica wheels. Just give it a little modern styling. All chrome Molly tubular suspension underneath. Upgraded the front brakes to uh, Will Woods. Paint scheme is a, uh, what was it, George? A Pontiac G8? It's uh, a. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we ask every single one of the people that we interview this same question to close the interviews. We'll sure. see it in all of our interviews. What does Camaro mean to you? Um, it was the ultimate car. Growing up, this was the hot car to have, and I always wanted one. For sure. And, uh, I got one, and I went ham on it. <laughs> you, did. you did. It sounded like it went ham on you. Yeah, too. yeah. We both, we, we got married together. It did, it did. It beat you up as much as you beat it up. Yep, yep, absolutely. That's awesome. Yep. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your Memorial Day. Did Thanks, you serve? You too. No, I did not. All right, guys. Another beautiful Camaro in the Caves Records. Um, enjoy this. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.
Okay. <laughs> <laughs>